Hi everyone. I wanted to make a little video up in my cabin here today, so I uh, I came out earlier and I I built a little fire. Uh, it's kind of a stormy day. I think we got about must have got about ten inches of snow, I guess, this morning and tonight. This afternoon, I mean. Yeah, a little snowstorm, but that's uh, that's normal for around here. <laughs> Yesterday, now yesterday morning, we haven't had a lot of weather like this, but thank I just thank the Lord for that, but uh, yesterday yesterday morning I woke up, I looked at them, the thermometer outside, my ch chin is still a little frozen from being outside, so I'm kind of tripping through my words a little bit here. Anyways, it was a little better than 25 below zero yesterday morning, so that's... Uh, that's a little bit nippy outside and it's not real warm up today but it's, it is warmer than 25 below I'm thinking it's around 0 or 10 above but anyway that's what it's like living in Maine <laughs> you uh, you try to keep warm whatever way that you can you know uh, in the cabin here I've got I've got a wood cook stove set uh, that I set up here last fall it works great. I mean, you can you can get up and cook uh, things on a frying pan. We haven't done it yet, but you can cook things and heat water for coffee and hot chocolate or anything like that. So um, I thought I'd throw throw in just a, a few video clips of putting some wood in the stove. Actually, it didn't need any wood. It just the stove works good. It throws real good heat, but. Anyways, the scripture that's been on my mind um, lately that I wanted to share is found in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1, and uh, I don't have my Bible right with me, but it's uh, it's tough in the winter time to carry everything out here, and, and going through the snow and everything, but I just wanted to touch on that one scripture anyway in Hebrews. Uh, and if I can, if I can correctly um, quote this verse, now it it uh, it says, "Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen." I hope I I get that exact word for word. But anyways, you can find the scripture Hebrews chapter eleven verse one. You know, a lot of times we have to walk by faith, don't we? And uh, it's not easy, you know. This life is uh, this life is seldom easy, I have to say. And uh, maybe there's a few lucky souls out there that have gone through life and everything has been perfect. <laughs> If it isn't one thing, it's another, isn't it? Isn't that the case? I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, you, you might you might have problems financially, and you wonder how in the world am I going to make my bills this week? How am I going to pay for my my bills? But on the other hand, you might have all kinds of money to pay your bills, but then again, there might be somebody in your family that is desperately sick, that doctors don't have a cure for. Or they can't help. You know, uh, I was talking to somebody just recently, uh, some very good friends of mine, but uh, I mentioned this when I was talking with them. I'll never forget the time. It was many years ago that my wife and I, we, uh, it was shortly after we got married, and uh, I didn't have a college education or anything. I I just had a, of course, I had my high school diploma for what that's worth nowadays. I uh, and that well, this when I say nowadays, that was quite a few years ago. Now <laughs> I can't believe how many years. But anyways, when we first were married, uh, I didn't have a lot of experience at anything really, and we didn't know what in the world we was going to do. I. I worked long enough to get some unemployment, you know, but we we just didn't know what we were going to do, and I, I thank God for my parents. My parents helped us out a lot, 
they let us stay stay there with them uh, for the, the first few years that we got married so to so we could kind of get our feet under us you know but I'll never forget uh, that situation I've shared this too before and a lot of you folks might remember this story but I didn't know what we were going to do and uh, we went to bed one night and we just uh, we we just we really were at our wits end. We just didn't know what to do because uh, I had no work and it was in the winter time, like right now. But you know, the Lord was faithful. He he would speak to me very often. I remember one time, three times in one day, the Lord spoke the song in different ways. He spoke the song to me. It is. My wife and I both, it is no secret what God can do. We went shopping and uh, we were going through this uh, department store and of all things they were, uh, I think it was around the Christmas season too, I really, I think it was just before, it was late fall, it was just before Christmas. They were playing Christmas songs but all of a sudden uh, th that song started playing in the store. It is no secret what God can do. <laughs> what he's done for others, he'll do for you. Well, you know, I can't remember the other way that the Lord spoke that to me that day, but it was three times. There was That was one of the times. We, we got, when we got back home, uh, and I went and picked up the mail. Well, my wife received a, a letter. That's back in long before email days. <laughs> she received a, a letter from her mother, and uh, and she was uh, in the letter. She was mentioning to us how that uh, she it was incredible. She was watching this program, but they mentioned that song. It is no secret what God can do, and how that it touched so many lives all around the world well it's just amazing i mean it was like three times uh, and i can't like i said i can't remember the other time but uh, it was just incredible how the lord made that real to uh, to us at the time i remember going to bed one night and uh, i tried to reenact this with a little video clip that i'll throw in here but i remember uh, in this dream we went to bed and we were so troubled but I remember looking down at what seemed to be the ground, but yet it seemed like everything was white and uh, and it was uh, like in the clouds almost. But I, I could see this crumbled up piece of paper and I, pick, I bent down and picked it up and I opened it up and what it said was, I am that I am. And you know, the next the, the next morning when we woke up, we felt altogether different. Everything, everything just, uh, I mean, the situation didn't instantly change. But the very next morning, we felt so much different. And you know, it wasn't long after that, I had another dream that I was going to have a job. But I, in this dream, I had a, a job working somewhere. But in the dream, my first check was $184. And uh, I just felt to continue to say this. Um, well, wouldn't you know, my uncle contacted me. And to make a long story short, my first check working for my uncle was $184. You know, it's no secret what God can do. And uh, anyway, that uh, when I saw that little piece of paper that said, I am that I am, it inspired me to pick up my guitar and write a song and I, I give the credit completely to the Holy Spirit because I sat down and I and the melody instantly came to me and the words I wrote them down in like a half an hour that song you folks have heard this song I'm sure you listened to me sing this song there but I am that I am go tell my people that's my name I am that I am, go tell my people, that's my name. I have come to deliver with my hand. I am that I am, go tell my people, I'll never change. 
I'm going to lead them into the promised land. I'm going to lead them into the promised land. Well, you know, uh, whatever it is that you're going through, Jesus, he's still the I am. He hasn't changed. He's the same yesterday and today and forever. And, uh, and like that verse of scripture in Hebrews that says, Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Wouldn't it be nice if we could see clearly with our vision, with our eyes, what God was going to do in our life? But it's just not that way. We have to go by faith. And, uh, but you know, if you go by faith and you really trust the Lord, He'll make a way for you. He really will. But it's so important to not give up just before He makes that way. Because uh, usually it's always darkest before the dawn. It's always, it's always the very hardest just before God breaks through in your life and does something. It's always darkest, it seems. And uh, I wouldn't doubt the Lord is testing our faith to see if we will withstand no matter what it looks like. So no matter what your situation looks like, um, just have faith and trust in the Lord. Have faith and believe that he will see you through. Oh, I get so many prayer requests, you know, but and I'm so thankful for that. But uh, I received this prayer request from a man, I believe his name is Bill. And, uh, and he's got a son, I believe, around 22 years old. And I tried to find his message. I told him I was going to, I was, I was going to share that I would mention uh, his situation just a little bit when I made my next video and I wanted to keep my promise to him and mention Bill, his son, that's around 22 years old and uh, for the life of me I can't remember all the details because I get a lot of prayer requests but I believe if I remember right one one thing about his son, his son was uh, he was in a uh, mental illness facility I believe if I remember correctly and he's a, he has other other problems and other things that's going on. Well, I I prayed for Bill's son, and I told him that I would mention him to you folks. And but you know, whatever your situation is, whatever your prayer request is, and uh, if you whenever you mention it, I know I know there's people that have told me uh, that when they see prayer request on my comment in my comment section that they pray for they pray for you they're faithful praying for you um, and I just I, I thank God for that I just I thank God uh, I'm just one man of course and I, I do the best I can with sharing videos and praying for people but I'm just a man but thank God that Jesus he is the king of kings and, uh, and whatever your prayer request or whatever your need is, whatever you're going through, the great I am, he sees you. He's watching. And he's watching to see if you're going to trust him and believe, no matter what it looks like. No matter, no matter what it looks like around you. You could pray and pray and pray and not see any difference. But God is watching. If you don't faint, if you don't give up, I really believe that Jesus will see you through. He will see you through. Oh, I just love the Lord so much, and I'm so thankful for the Lord in my life, and uh, I love him so much. He's been a friend, truly, that's been closer than a brother. And uh, so many times, I could tell you uh, so many times that it just seemed like the situation, it really seemed impossible. But the Lord always saw my family and I through. He always has seen us through. Oh, I love him so much. And uh, I just wanted to somehow convey this message across to you folks, no matter what you're going through. The great I am. Trust, trust the great I am. Trust him that he will see you through. No matter 
what it is, no matter what it is, he will see you through. Lord, in Jesus' name, whatever, whatever uh, this person is going through that's listening to me right now, oh Lord, I, I pray that you would really show yourself in their life to be mighty and strong as you are, Lord. You are so, you are so mighty. There's nothing you can't do, no matter how impossible that it might seem. Lord, I just pray that in Jesus' name that you would touch that one. Touch that one that's hurting so bad because of relationships. Oh, you know, people in this life, uh, a lot of people, they'll, they'll let you down. You know, you can't, keep, you can't have your eyes on man, that's for sure. You have to keep your eyes on Jesus. Because, unfortunately, many times, people will let you down. But God will never let you down. He'll never let you down. He loves you so much. Oh, He loves you. If you don't know Jesus as your personal Savior, maybe your need is that you need Jesus in your life. And you think that, uh, you think that you've done things that are just so bad that there's no hope for you. Well, I don't believe that at all. There is hope. Jesus loves you more than you can realize. I just hope that you come to Jesus and call upon him now. It's very, it's very simple. Just, uh, just ask Jesus, Jesus, please, uh, I ask that you would please forgive me of all of my sins. Please cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Lord, I pray that you would help me to live for you. Help me to walk with you and, uh, and help me to study your word and to learn from you. Help me to walk with you, Lord Jesus. I want to be your child. Please come into my heart and into my life and, uh, and please never leave, but come into my heart and into my life. And, uh, oh, I thank you so much for loving me, for dying for my sins one day at Calvary. Thank you so much. Thank you, folks, for listening to me. Oh, God is so good. I, I just love him so much. And uh, just keep looking up. One of these days, one of these days, it will soon be all over. And all of these troubles and trials will be just a fleeting memory in the past of which you'll never care to think about again because we're in the, when we're in the presence of Jesus when we're with the Lord forever and forever we're not going to be worrying about these these things that have happened in this world it's going to be just so wonderful to be with Jesus but until then just keep holding on Keep holding on to that nail-scarred hand. He loves you so much. God bless and keep each and every one of you. And you have a wonderful week. And keep looking up. Things are really happening around the world. Keep looking up. Don't be afraid no matter what happens. Don't be afraid. Bye for now. God bless you all.